JC Motorcycle Superstore with Bell's Mag9 Cena helmet. This is a three-quarter design, open face style helmet. Can be used in multiple configurations without this visor on top, with or without the shield here in front. But this is a three-quarter design that has a ton of features on it, more than what you're going to find with the other three-quarters in Bell's lineups. Polycarbonate outer shell. This uses a velocity flow ventilation system, so you've got adjustable vents on the top of the helmet. On the back, you've got this ridge with a low pressure system helping pull the air out for the velocity effect. This is a size double extra large. We weighed it at 3.5 pounds. So what they've done for 2013 in order to make this Mag9 better than the previous version is they've focused on a couple areas. First off, you have the drop down visor. This is a nice sun shield. We left the sticker on for you. This is going to be great if you don't want to carry your sunglasses or if you get caught out. But what they've done to make it better is they've, they've actually adjusted the activation device. So this switch uses two fingers, index finger and thumb, and it pops it straight down, spring loaded to pop it back up into the shell. So really easy to activate that now. You're going to have no problem getting it in and out. Also, they've addressed comfort. So you've got the cheek pads, which are thin along the top portion. This is going to allow for those sunglasses or regular eyeglasses to go inside and be a little bit less of a pressure point against the side of your head. Also, you'll notice these things use some speaker pockets so you can work with communication devices. And as we get into it here, that is the defining feature for the Mag9 Cena model. It works with the Cena SMH10 Bluetooth device. So this thing is going to work and be integrated seamlessly into the Mag9. When you pull the interior out, it's all removable and washable, antibacterial. This is a micro suede type fiber. It's extremely comfortable against your face, be moisture wicking. So let's yank it out. You can see the EPS liner underneath with the vent channels and holes cut into it. Multiple sizes available in this helmet to fit whatever size noggin you're working with. But the key feature here is that this portion of the cheek pad or the EPS is removable. So pull this tab and this thing pops straight out. Now what that does is it allows for you to access a recessed cutout. This tab on the, ex on the exterior here pops straight out. So now you can slip your Bluetooth device in there. It's going to be a little bit more of a flush mounted type system and it's going to work just as, as seamlessly as possible. With the SMH10, you've got a couple main components. So your, your main controller here this uses uh, different types of inputs, so whatever kind of devices you have hooked up to it, phone, GPS, MP3. Uh, it also works on a communication system between riders, so you can actually have a, a four-way conference call. So lots of stuff happening with this Cena device. Also, in the box you get the microphone, which is an adjustable boom mic, and you get the earpieces that are going to go inside so that you can hear what's going on. As far as getting this mounted to the bell, this portion slips inside very easily and that makes for a very simple attachment on the outer portion of the helmet. Once this is in place, then you can take your controller, your jog dial, slip it in from the top where it clips straight in. So now that it's attached, you can see it's actually recessed a bit. It's a little bit more streamlined for less wind resistance, and you still have all the functionality. You can reach the phone button on the back, you can reach the dial on the front, you've also got your input here for your charging port or MP3, whatever you're using to attach there. So, inside the helmet, Bell has also chiseled out a small groove in the bottom of the EPS. That's going to allow this to lay right down, and then you can put your cheek pad back in place. You're not replacing this at, at this time. So put this back in there and you're going to be able to wrap this around and access it from whatever position is most comfortable. The earpieces are going to go ahead and attach inside of your speaker pockets or wherever you want to put them. Um, on this side of the helmet there is a slight recess so they're going to mount in there as well. Again, this is just designed to work specifically with the Cena SMH10. If you already have one of these and you want to attach it to a Bell 9, you want to buy one of these, then all you have to do is pick up the attachment kit. So they have a mounting kit specifically for the Mag 9. If you've got a Mag 9 and you want to attach the Cena, then you get the specific Bell kit for the SMH10. So that's how you're going to integrate all this. Very simple. You can still use your, your Bluetooth device with other helmets just by getting a different type of mount kit. So, Lots of stuff to, to appreciate about this helmet. Communication between fellow riders or being able to access your phone is a really nice benefit out on the highway. So take a look at all the benefits that this has, all the features, the different colorways available at MotorcycleSuperstore.com. Also, you'll find more information there on the Cena kit itself. So check them out on the item pages. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.